Hi, my name is uh, Donald Young. I'm the design director on Anomaly 1729 um, at Drop. Uh, I mostly focus on uh, level design and puzzle design, but I also uh, you know, lead the teams for uh, developing the art and developing the story uh, and the overall experience. Um, and today I wanted to run through a, a small portion of the game to show a few features uh, and to show how, how puzzles work and, and how progression works in the game. Um, so there are several elements that you'll encounter as you go throughout the game. Uh, this is one of them. These uh, we're calling our impulse panels um, that have uh, two functions. Most of the elements have two functions uh, that are activated depending on if you shoot uh, the uh, blue shot or the orange shot. Uh, so right now it's in its orange state, which is a uh, what we call a repulsion panel. And this just bounces you up and down. Um, here is one uh, in, the, in the blue state, uh, and if we jump into that, this is uh, what we call our, our magnet panels. So you can kind of get an idea of, you know, how these work and how these can be used for, you know, navigation on their own uh, before you actually see them in the in the context of a, of a puzzle or uh, or used with a rotation mechanic. So I'm gonna turn this one into a propulsion and then jump into this one, which is magnets, and I'm on the ceiling, <laughs> but um, it allows me to uh, to get to this platform up here. So moving on through. Uh, We'll enter into uh, our puzzle room, um, and this one is uh, largely focused on these impulse panels, uh, but it shows you how they can be combined with the, the rotation mechanic. And what I was thinking of doing is just uh, kind of going down the, the main path, you know, uh, just to show you um, uh, one way to do it. There's, there's multiple solutions for uh, every puzzle in the game, uh, and the one for this room is uh, it's like this. Um, so this room and these panels, you know, it's it's all about just you know covering a lot of ground uh, quickly. You know, very similar to the to the world rotation uh, mechanic. It's all about you know, it's all about navigation. It's all about you know using your space in kind of a different way. So so what we did there was uh, turn the world on its side. So now the what was once the the wall you know, is now the ceiling, which allows us to get access to uh, these two panels. And using these, we can get to one of our uh, locked platforms. Uh, so this is an actor that's introduced, uh, you know, earlier in the game. Uh, but these don't move with the uh, with the world, uh, which you can see when I when I use this rotation cube to put everything back, uh, so the world is in its you know right place again. This that's the the door that we came in over there. <clears throat> you can see the world moving, you know, and we kind of stay still on this panel. So that's another. These are these are used to, you know, again to, to make your way through the environment. Um, and our ultimate goal for this room, uh, you know, objectives change as you go through the game. But uh, for this room, is just to get to the exit door up there, and it's about navigating through this space and trying to figure out the best way to uh, to get to that door. So from here we can see, you know, this angled panel is going to kind of shoot us that way, and most likely we can get over to that that space over there. This is a, uh, a puzzle that's that's fairly early in the game, so we want it to be, you know, pretty simple, pretty intuitive. You know, you're still getting used to the mechanics, um, and and still getting uh, used to to navigating the world in a much different way uh, than you would in, in most games. So these are, this is another uh, locked platform, and we made it to here, uh, but now we need to kind of look around to see, you know, what's close or what we can make close. So that that uh, platform over there is, is a little far, but uh, if we rotate the world, we can bring it uh, a lot closer to us. And I get up to a higher section up here, so that's this panel, panel that we were on before, and now there's not much to go here. There is a panel that's kind of out in space over there. That's another locked uh, panel, so that one's not going to move. Um, but this is a, a concept that we, you know, we want to teach uh, pretty early on in the game. Is that, you know, that's locked, so that's not going to move. But I'm standing on something that will move. 
So if I shoot the rotation cube now, the world is going to move, but I'm going to go with it, right? So even though it looks like this uh, this platform right now is moving, it's actually staying still, and uh, Anno is moving. All right, but now so door is right there, almost there. Now it's just a matter of pulling, uh, moving the world around to to get this fan a little bit closer to us, and then hopping into it. Uh, you know, the, use the magnet panel here to kind of close the distance, which was uh, a little bit out of reach. And that's it. That that allows us to uh, to get through the door and to uh, to keep going with the game. Uh, and basically, how this works, you you keep going through this this section. There's another few examples of um, smaller puzzles with the uh, the impulse panels, uh, and then you'll get back to the hub and uh, complete the, uh, the the objective there. Uh, to you know, help you get further into the game. That's a brief look at how level progression works in the game, uh, how the rotation mechanic works, um, and uh, a look at what you'll be seeing in Anomaly 1729. Thanks.